Hello Internet, welcome back to another episode of Star Wars The Force Unleashed. In the last episode, we went to the Jedi Temple for the second time and defeated Darth Phobos, who was totally real and not an illusion. This time, we're going to be going to Felucia to take on Shock T, but first I have a warning. If you're ever planning on making a Let's Play where you're recording your commentary and your game audio separately like most smart people would, always make a test recording. Everybody who does Let's Plays reiterates this uh, again and again and again, but I cannot stress, to n stress enough that you should always make a, a test recording. I recorded like a good two hours of this game yesterday, and um, there was no game audio in any of the footage. So I had to replay this entire game because it has an autosave feature that you can't turn off just to get to this point. Now luckily that did give me an opportunity to get a bunch of health and force pickups that I didn't get otherwise, but it wasn't fun. So yeah, just a word of caution. Anyway. Felucia in range. Readings. Life signs are overwhelming the scanners. The planet must be completely overgrown. It is, but something else is bothering you. How... You can't hide your feelings from me, no matter how deeply you bury them. Felucia, it reminds me of Kalos. That's right, you were at the Battle of Kalos. I led the Imperial forces at the Battle of Kalos. Kalos was like this, overgrown, teeming with life, and we raised the planet. It's a dead world now. I, I read the reports. You did the right thing. You followed your orders till the end. Yes. Do you know where to go? Head toward the equator. Assassins. Darth Vader has found us. Perhaps. Maris, gather your belongings and go into hiding, just as we practiced. Do not return until I summon you. But Master, this is what I've been waiting for. Let me fight! No. I will lead this assassin to the Ancient Abyss alone. You are not ready to face a Sith. You would surely be killed. Maris, we are among the last of the Jedi. While we live, the Order survives. I cannot allow you to be captured or killed by the Empire. Now please, go to the graveyard and wait for my summons. No, she hasn't been corrupted. Not yet. She's just afraid. May the Force be with you, Maris Brood. <gasps> Luckily for Very Pale Girl, she's not our target. We're here for Shock T. So, while we're fighting these Felucian warriors, because trust me when I say, these take a while to fight because they are by far the most frustrating enemies we've run into yet, um, Shakti is a really interesting uh, Jedi because she's died like four billion times. Like, she cannot stop dying. And it's really weird. So. She died several times, according to several pieces of media, by Anakin Skywalker during Operation Nightfall in the Jedi Temple. What is it, Skywalker? <laughs> but then... I mean, that was even in LEGO Star Wars, but then there's also a deleted scene in Revenge of the Sith where she's killed by General Grievous. Oh, General Kenobi, we've been waiting for you, stinking Jedi. <laughs> and... Oh, 
Oh, God, there's just so many different times she dies, I can't even count all of them. She can't stop dying for the life, well, for the death of her, maybe, but... Anyway, those Felucian shamans, they are the larger ones with the staffs. They can heal the normal Felucian warriors, so you want to get rid of them first if they are causing you trouble. Luckily, the Felucian warriors don't have a ton of health, but they can block, so... Yeah. They're like Drexel, but there's a lot more of them. So they're still worthless, but... You know. Even the worthless are slightly less worthless in large numbers. Oh my god. The block was just not working. I need to move away from my desk so I'm not hitting things constantly, but... I was doing my best to block there, and the game just didn't accept it. That is an issue I have with this game. I've probably said this already, but I can't remember because of all the episodes I had to scrap yesterday. Uh, I tend to forget to block, even though that's, like, extremely important in this game. Uh, and that's mostly because I don't like holding the Wii Remote sideways while the nunchuck is attached, but the nunchuck is a requirement for this game because it's a 3D platform action game. That's a lot of genres mixed into one. Felucia is also kind of frustrating because it can be hard to see with how like bright it is here. You can turn down the game's brightness all you want. That's not going to help you because it's going to just make the light equally as bright as it is just darker to go with everything else. It's It can be annoying. It didn't slow me down when I recorded it last time, but... Yeah. I'm also going to say now that uh, this is going to be two parts. Uh, Felucia isn't really a, wait, isn't a long level. In fact, it's shorter than Rax's Prime, as far as I remember. But there's a stopping point that I have planned for Felucia that wouldn't go for the other levels we've gone to so far. So, yeah, okay. I remember this. There's just a sneaky force upgrade over here that... I mean, it's not unnoticeable, but it's very small and blue in this very large and blue area. Felucia is one of my favorite planets in Star Wars in general. It just looks really good. I don't care what Cinema Sin says about it looking like something that, uh... That, uh, Spielberg would want to go and credit him for because, uh, this is a really good planet. Like, you had the forest planets already, you had Kashyyyk and, uh, Endor? The moon of Endor, I guess? I don't know what Endor itself is, but... This is so good, because, like, it's not a jungle or a forest, it's just mushroom. That is how I would describe it, it is just mushroom. Oh my god, where did they come from? Jeez, oh god, you just came out of the wall, sir. Watch Future Me go back and just say that I was wrong and not even show the footage to prove it because Future Me is lazy. Okay. I... I don't know, you can't get up there. That seems like a place you'd be able to get up to a holocron in this republic gunship this is something that confuses me so this was like a key battleground at the end of the clone wars and Ala Secura died here so obviously the jedi weren't safe here initially so why come here later why just assume the empire is going to be gone Just because they changed the name of their faction doesn't mean they changed the areas they are going to be located in. Like, the base of the Empire was still Coruscant. You just never really think about that because they never make that important. Okay. What's over here? This seems open enough that it would have a secret. Nope. All right.
Yep, we have to fight a Rancor. Uh, these aren't the most difficult bosses, but they can deal a lot of damage and they can also throw stuff at you. Uh, like that. Those plant things are essentially just bombs. You can throw them at the Rancors too and they'll do a lot of damage, but... I have to be able to demonstrate that and this thing is surprisingly fast. There we go. That did a lot of damage. We're doing pretty well here. I guess it's probably partially because I fought this exact boss literally just yesterday, but... Yeah, it's not very hard, and it's even easier in the, uh, in the HD version, because you can just skip this boss altogether. Just run right past him. The trade-off, of course, is that there are a lot more of them. The trade-off is that there are a lot more Rancors in the HD version, because we'll only be seeing a good, like, three in this level. In the HD version, there are four, and three of them are all in one location. Meanwhile, in this level, there are only two in one location. I don't know. It It's easy to skip all of the Rancors in the HD version, so it doesn't really affect the game that much. Okay, this shaman has been the most annoying one so far. There was a red crystal over there that's more of a pinkish color if you wanted that instead of crimson, but... I'm sticking with crimson because the HD version's cutscenes say so. You need to be dead. Thank you. Oh god. You do have to be mindful about using saber throw because... You can't block while your saber is out of your hand. Of course they thought of that. Just to make this game as difficult as possible. And, you know, overall I wouldn't say this is actually a really difficult game. This game's pretty easy, all things considered, but... I don't know, it's fun to make fun of the game. Even if it's not for any particular reason. Although there is obviously some particular reasons, because all those glitches in the Rom Coda level, um, they didn't affect me when I was playing it through this uh, recent time, but when I was getting the footage for that episode of the Let's Play, I sure did, and that man was invisible for some reason. Okay. Okay, I'm going backwards now. <laughs> it's easy to get turned around if you go looking for the collectibles in this level. It doesn't matter that much because we aren't being set back that much, but it's just something you should take note of if you're looking for all the items in the game. Why is there just a giant file plume head there? Oh, okay. Um, I guess I'm just gonna keep going this way then. Doesn't seem like there's anything hidden there. Die, please. Uh, I should also mention, Felucian Warriors are a lot more annoying in the HD version because the shamans have more health and they also make it so you literally cannot damage the uh, general warriors uh, until the shaman is dead. So, it's, again, not, like, hard, but it is frustrating. Especially when you're, like, on a roll and then the Felucian Shaman makes the aura happen and then you get broken out of your combo on them because they're now invincible and they deflect any physical hits. I think you can probably still kill them using the Force. That seems like something that would happen with that, like, type of enemy, but... I can't be certain. Okay, that- oh, yep, yet another one. Of course. Can't give me a day off, can you? I mean, it wouldn't really be a day off, it would be like a few minutes off, because I know there's going to be more when I reach the end of this situation. Oh god! Why are there so many in these small tunnels? There are multiple paths in these tunnels, they all lead to the same exit, so... 
not the same exit, but the same exiting point, as you can see on the mini-map. I think there's probably a holocron in both of them too, but I can't say for sure. Well, here we go. Both Rancors at once, and if you don't see that, that's unfortunate. There is a permanent health upgrade just sitting in this boss arena. I don't... I don't like that. Like, you're likely to notice it because, well, it's in the middle of a boss arena for two bosses that take a while to beat. But you just, you look at those and then you're like, oh, well, sure there's more hidden around here. And wouldn't you know it, there is. There are, as I remember counting, three to four holocrons in this arena. Just, why is that a thing? I got all three for some reason. I'll also notice I'm at 50 holocrons because I found a lot more than usual while I was going through without recording. This game is actually easier when you're not commentating, believe it or not. Oh, there's a fourth one. We're at 51. 100 more until we have all of them. Okay, yeah, the, a fifth one. Okay, there's five. Good game design, everybody. Okay. Uh, this would be a good time to note that in order to defeat the Rancors, you do not need to do the Quick Time Event. You can just keep lowering their health until they die. Quick Time Event can get you out of damage or out of danger if you are in it. As you can see, that guy just died. But so now we don't really need to worry about doing the Quick Time Event with this guy unless we're at low health when we get it. So yeah. These guys do have just as much health as just that one on its own did, so... Just taking on two of the same boss. Game's nice enough to give you that checkpoint in the cutscene if you hadn't already run into it during the boss fight. So, that's good. But, for some reason, there's another checkpoint just right here. Right past that checkpoint. You generally space those out a bit more, I think. Generally. You don't always. Look at the... Look at Mario Maker, sometimes you go five minutes and then, oh, here's another one, because we made our level absurdly difficult, so you would make a YouTube video about it. I haven't played Mario Maker 2, so I don't know if that's, like, still a problem, but I know with Mario Maker 1... You knew I was coming, now surely you know what happens next. I know the Emperor will be defeated. I know peace will be restored. No! It is the Jedi who stand in the way of peace! As I was saying, I know it was an issue with Mario Maker 1. I haven't played Mario Maker 2 to know if it's an issue because I honestly just have no interest in Mario Maker 2. Just please be dead, you dumb Felicia. Ah, oh, that didn't do the slam I wanted it to do. Okay, now they're dead. Got two shamans. They're putting up a real fight. Like, God, this is really difficult. Is he just doing a shimmy? I can't tell. I hope he was. There's a second health upgrade on this level. And a holocron in this plant right next to it. Oh, 
Oh, what did you just say to me? There we go. You can just throw him off this mountainside to kill him, but that's the lazy way. Hey, buddy. Want to see what I call the lazy way? Here's what I call the lazy way. Oh, oops. Nope, you need to go the lazy way, buddy. Okay. It's like a lazy river, except you die at the end and there's no river. And also, you're not the one being lazy. I am. Oh, you want the lazy way? You got it. There we go. Oh, you want the lazy way? I don't know if I can give it to you from here. But we'll see. Oh, he got it. He got it! Alright, they're all getting the lazy way if they wish for it. I don't think anybody's gonna want it from this point on. Oh, there is a real good place to give them the easy way right there. Alright. You are now not dead yet. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, let me do force refill. Okay. I was not ready for that. Nope. Stop. Stay away from me. This isn't Force Unleashed 2, but I'm gonna say stay away from me. This isn't even the first level, so... Also, just so you know, if I do ever end up doing this game's sequel, it will be the Wii version, because that's also a solid game. Uh, although it's definitely more accurate to its HD counterpart than this is, so... It won't be that much more exciting, it just has more levels. Right. Oh, hi, buddy. You're in my way. Okay, I want them to keep on coming because I know we're at the end of the level, and as I said, this is going to be uh, two episodes for Felucia, so it'd be nice to just exhaust these enemies so I can give my outro. Alright, looks like that's it, because my lightsaber is not automatically turning back on, so... Next time on Star Wars The Force Unleashed, we are going to be... Uh, defeating Shock T. See you guys then.